Hey there, Secure Edge fans, and welcome to another edition of our Whiteboard Wednesdays. This week we're talking about wireless challenges in the warehouse environment. Wireless challenges inside of warehouses are plenty. Today I'd like to touch on nine of them that we see on a regular basis and why they are important. The first issue we see is the firmware effect. Outdated firmware on devices and access points can affect wireless performance due to incompatibilities in the protocols and other technologies important in the wireless communication between clients and access points. Two of the same devices but on different firmware versions can have drastically different performance on the warehouse wireless network. Next, we have the high power effect. Full power on access points is as bad as having no power at all. Power should be set on access points to be symmetrical with the send receive capabilities of the client devices. They must be able to not only hear each other but to send to each other as well. Mismatched power levels are at fault all too often. We also have the incorrect antenna effect. An incorrect antenna type is another issue we run into. If the antenna is not delivering the signal optimally to the devices, the network is going to fail. Next, we have the misalignment effect. Even if the right antenna is chosen, it's necessary to understand its radiation pattern and align it to deliver signal to the clients optimally. Then we have the wrong channel effect. Wi-Fi has specifically assigned channels for operations. These channels must not overlap within specific tolerances. If your APs are all on the same channel, you're going to have wireless network issues. Next we have the legacy effect. Older legacy wireless devices use lower data rates. Using those older devices on newer generation wireless networks will cause performance degradation. Upgrade your pre-2006 devices to something newer and faster and remove those old data rates from your configuration. Another issue that we run into is the Faraday effect. The cages around forklifts, tow motors, and other warehouse vehicles can degrade the wireless performance for the wireless devices mounted inside those vehicles. And then we have the stock effect. The stock materials on warehouse shelves has a major impact on warehouse wireless performance. Metal bins full of metal parts on metal shelves is going to perform differently than bolts of fabric on wooden shelving. And finally, we have the over-under effect. Having too many, or conversely, too few access points are also impactful on the performance of your warehouse wireless network. All right, everyone, I look forward to your comments as well as answering any questions you might have. If you'd like to read the blog version of this video, it's in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I look forward to our next edition of Whiteboard Wednesday. Take care.